Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Ulta haul. This has a lot of makeup revolution stuff in it because I've been kind of like testing out the brand a little bit more, just dipping my toes in and seeing everything they offer. And then just a bunch of little random goodies that I finally got to pick up. So if you want to see what's inside this little Ulta bag, then please keep on watching. So my Ulta bag definitely has some weight to it. Um, I did not buy this all at one time. It's kind of like a little collective Ulta haul. It's just pieces that I pick up here and there. Some stuff was bought together, but the first thing on top, these are off Kathleen Lights because she used them. They're the Ardell Wispies in 113 Black. They are long, they are dramatic, they're wispy, they're thin. I really, really love these. That is what they look like right there. Something about them to me just looks so fluttery and kind of just girly, and I can't wait to use these. Next thing I have right here is my uh, Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This I've heard nothing but great things about. I have it in the shade 05 Light Natural. I'm so excited to use this, so I'll probably use it in like a testing new makeup product video. These are my favorite videos to film ever. So I'm real excited to use this. Kathleen uses this, uh, Nicole Cutler uses this. So a lot of people I know use it and a lot of people I know really enjoy it. I also picked up the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. This is just, I feel like another cult classic. I don't really ever set my under eyes with banana powder. I never really have, I don't own a banana powder. I don't think the only banana powder I used to ever own was the e.l.f. like old HD bulky black packaging. And I threw that away a long time ago because it's just time and I figured I would try another good banana powder because I've seen so many people use this hit pan and finish up the whole product and continue to repurchase it. So I figured out I could see, you know, what I'm missing out on, if it's good, if I still like banana powders, so on and so forth. And then I did pick up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation or BB Cream. I was on the fence about this for a while. I didn't know if I wanted to get it because it's a Hydro Boost tint. So I was like, okay, is it like a tint? Is it less than a BB cream? Is it the coverage of a foundation? Like, what is this? And um, I have gone a little bit more oily. So I was like, I don't really want to know if I want to reach out to like the more hydrating side right now. But I figured I would just go ahead and pick it up. I have it in the shade Classic Ivory Tin. Um, if you want to see like a first impression review wear test or a review over it, let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, I just figured I would try it for myself. It's about time because I feel like everybody else has it except me. And then this is off of Casey Holmes, I believe used this in like her testing makeup products or one of her tutorials. It's the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. I have been really enjoying this and I've used it a time or two because I was just too excited not to use it. But the shade in here is honestly perfect for my skin tone to contour with. It's kind of like a ashy light brown, but it's perfect. And the highlight in here actually isn't too bad also. It's more of like a natural highlight, but it's still a really pretty highlight. So it's not one of those duos that you can only use like one product out of. Both products are really good in here, so I think it's worth the money. It's like maybe around five or six bucks. You can get this at Ulta or online. Um, I don't think all Ultas carry Catrice. I could be wrong, but I, I kind of have a feeling some do. I know mine does. But yeah, I have it in the shade Tin Ashy Radiance. And then I did get this mask. It is from Freeman. I'm a huge Freeman mask lover. I love their mask so much. This is the Apple Cider Vinegar 4-in-1 Foaming Clay Mask. This is for all skin types. And this is a mask, scrub, cleanser, and toner for radiant skin. I probably own every single mask they make. I swear by them, I love them so much, and um, I have yet to finish one because I switched through a lot of them just depending on how my days, how my skin is that day or maybe that week whenever I have time to do a mask. It says, foaming clay cleans, scrubs, tones, and absorbs oil, so unruly skin behaves better and better than ever. Um, it has some clays that clears out oils and debris, pure, pure, Pure mice? Pure mice? I don't know how you say it. Exfoliates to clear away dead skin cells while apple cider vinegar tones for a radiant finish. And then to use it as a daily cleanser or scrub, you massage gently onto damp skin. So it's like a two for one kind of mask thing. This was cool. I really like the idea of the apple cider vinegar in here because I know apple cider vinegar has multiple uses. I also picked up and I have used these a couple times because I mean, they're beautiful and I really wanted to use them and I love them already. These are the Essence Satin Touch Blushes. I have, the. These are the only two shades they make and I really wish they would come out with more shades. I have a 10 Satin Coral and 20 Satin Love. These are beautiful. I think they're around like two or three dollars. You can sometimes even catch Essence like on sale. 
but they're gorgeous and they're so affordable and so cheap. That's exactly why I wish they would come out with more shades. And the pigmentation on these is insane. I feel like it has the same pigmentation as like a Tarte Amazonian clay blush. They're beautiful. They last for a long time. I mean, look at that. They kind of have a little sheen to it, but it's definitely nothing that scares me away personally. Normally I do like a matte blush, but Something about these I like and I really enjoy the price point. So Essence, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, I really wish you would make more shades of those because they're really pretty. And then I have a couple of Makeup Revolution things in here. These right here are their matte lip kits. These intrigued me because I thought about the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. Um, I don't know if they're good or not. I have not used them and I'm just really intrigued by them. They're called the Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit. It has a lip contour kit lip pencil and a liquid lipstick. I have one shade in rain and then the other shade is like Ectalon. I don't know how you say that, but it's a little bit darker and deeper. I really wanna swatch these now because I have not tried these at all. So it is like Kylie, you get a lipstick and a lip pencil. Um, packaging's pretty plain in my opinion just a rose gold top of the tube so this is the shade rain i feel like it's a tad bit no maybe not i think it may be just the formula i feel like it almost is a little moussey maybe a little sticky at first but that is the shade rain right there it's your typical kind of mauvey pink that everybody likes and then the shade eclon or however you say this shade. This shade literally looks exactly the same as rain in the bottle okay seriously Okay, it looks a little darker. Oh yeah. So this has more of like a purpley tone to it. So that's the rain shade and that is like the Eclon shade or something. It's definitely a big difference. Um, it says matte, so we'll just kind of have to see. I will probably use them in a video, but hopefully they're good. I mean, they seem to be staining my hand pretty well, so it makes it difficult to, co difficult to come off. Um, the next thing I have right here is the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer Even Skin Tone. Optically, it's a soft focus effect, long lasting, naturally, naturally illuminating primer. Um, I have a couple of Catrice primers already. I actually have their Prime and Fine Pore Finding Anti Shine, which I'm using today, and I have their Nude Glow, and now their pink one. I'm a really big fan of Catrice primers and Catrice products in general, so I wanted to add this one to the collection. It's just, you know, it's supposed to be one of those all around beautifying primers, like it does say. And then the next thing I have right here is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid in 100 Light. I have um, a couple dupes up my sleeve with some different products, so I wanted to pick this guy up. In one of my hauls, I did get a L'Oreal version, and they seem to be pretty similar in my opinion. Um, they're both extremely pigmented, extremely like that nice white icy finish. It's so cooling and they smell like cucumbers, but it's beautiful. I love it. I love, I've been getting more into like cream products. I started cream contouring now, which is like never happened, but I started to like more cream face things. And then this is a new NYX Precision Brow Pencil. I have it in the shade Blonde. I thought the packaging was the, it looks like a dagger. I thought this was like the weirdest packaging I've ever seen, but I'm normally a pomade lover and I figured I could try this out. Um, honestly, it's packaging that intrigued me. I don't know what the tip looks like. I don't really know anything yet, but I'll have to use it in a first impressions. And then the last thing I did get is the Makeup Revolution Goddess of Faith Blushing Heart Triple Baked Highlighter. Um, I am super excited about this because it's a highlighter and I love highlighters. This packaging is a lot like the Too Faced uh, Sweetheart Blushes or whatever these are called in Too Faced packaging because I could not tell you. Um, but I'm so excited and it looks so phenomenal. I mean, look at that. That is insane. They do have other colors, but this is the one that stood out to me the most. Again, this is the Goddess of Faith one. So if you see these at Ulta, definitely pick this one up. I am gonna keep an eye out for newer ones because I definitely wanna try out some other shades. So that is everything for this Ulta haul. I will link everything down below off of the Ulta website if you are interested in anything. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you guys later. Bye y'all.